The technology which enables networks is advancing strongly at the moment. You, you see this mostly in the development of optical networks and also of radio networks. Uh, this 5G um, uh, progress which is going on at the moment. And so the, these are going to make it possible to uh, make networking cheap, cheaper uh, by providing uh, more capacity or uh, for, for enabling the use by more people or doing more complex things. So these, these are, are good things. Um, the R&D networks, the research and education networks, have to accompany this. I mean, if, if the re research and education network is not capable of uh, offering services which are more advanced than the commercial networks, then the reason for having them tends to go away. And uh, this is something which uh, we believe has to be stressed, that uh, there are users which uh, cannot be served by the commercial networks to get at the moment at a, at a decent price. Everything eventually comes down to price, and the, the idea of being able to have aggregated networks which uh, can be uh, used by high performance users as well as the, 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 uh, the, the less uh, aggressive people, if you like, uh, can, can be built econ and operated economically if you have the right conditions. And so you have to offer the attractions and the tr attraction in, in this case is the performance which you can operate, offer to them on the coverage. Um, about problems, the problem which is obviously uh, well known is that of security, network security. And uh, there is a, diff a difficulty because uh, we can't, um, well, we suffer from problems of privacy and protection against financial and other crimes uh, done remotely. I've had a number of um, a personal, uh, um, how shall I put it, incidents in, in recent times. Uh, my bank, fortunately, is very smart and uh, has found ways of uh, being able to detect rapidly that something's not quite right and has uh, notified me and taken steps and so on. Uh, 